Okay, so today I am going to remove the pins that I have uh, have had in my thumb for the past few weeks uh, due to a broken phalanx down here at the bottom. Um, this setup is actually pretty standard from what I've seen and read as far as the three pin setup. So in order to remove them, you're gonna need a 1.5 hex key of some sort, a pair of pliers of some sort, and then when you're done, some either gauze bandages or band-aids, maybe some neosporin, whatever it takes, and maybe a paper towel like I have just for anything that might come out unexpectedly. <laughs> so you can see there's little hex keys holding the little white balls on the pin. Looks like this first one is already really loose, so it should come out fairly easy, but I still want to try to take off the little white ball on all of them. There we go, there's one. Feels a little weird. <laughs> As something's moving around inside your hand there. I've, I've cleaned up the area as best I could after taking off the cast. And I don't know if this one would be worth it. All right. Well, this one I think I can just pull out because it's been, it's already very loose. But what you want to do is you want to break it away from the bone growth that has happened in the past few weeks. So break it so it spins and then you should be able to just kind of pull it out. Yeah, that, not too bad. All right, that one didn't feel too bad, but pretty lengthy size pin here going all the way in. You can see how far that would go in. All right, now we got the other one. This one, I'm not sure. Definitely a little tighter. Just trying to work it loose a little bit. Let me take care of this. <laughs> yeah, this one's in there a lot tighter. <laughs> I don't want to pull too hard. Mm. Yeah, that one's in there pretty good. Mm. Ooh, felt that one. <laughs> mm. Mm. There we go. Ooh. That felt weird. <laughs> You can actually feel it sliding along the bone. Mm. All right, one more to go and hopefully I'll be able to move my thumb again. But it looks like this one, it looks like the, the joint of the pin where they bent it is actually underneath the skin. Ah. 
Ow. <laughs> so make sure you get a good tight grip on the pin here. I think this is the one doing most of the work. <laughs> So there you have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna like. Mm. Try to squeeze some of the excess out before I do anything. Yeah, my thumb still can't move as much as I thought it would. I thought it would be able to move a lot more already, but it's been in that position for so long, it's probably going to take a little while to get get back in shape. But there you have it. I'll clean it up and hopefully start moving my thumb real soon. Thanks.